Hello and welcome from the Canary Islands. I'm John Magnetron and I'm in Tenerife and I'm going straight to the point with Dead Man's Fingers. Doesn't seem to be a great deal on the YouTube or on the internet about the Dead Man's Fingers inside a crab. Here from the supermarket I've got a Spanish crab. It is a frozen crab and I've got to get it out of its pack. This kind of crab is most probably a female crab. It's the kind of crab that you get in the North Atlantic all the way from here at 20 degrees latitude on the east side of the Atlantic. We are on the east side of the Atlantic here in, in the Canary Islands because we're off the west coast of Africa. And uh, the crab that you see here as I say is the kind that gets from 20 degrees latitude all the way up to about 55 degrees latitude it's thawed out as a frozen crab nothing special about this because this, the object of this is to show you what the dead man's fingers are this kind of crab as I say um, you know synonymous with uh, um, uh, Brittany um, Western Spa Portugal, Spain um, you get these all over the world if you go up to Denmark you'll, kind, you'll get this kind of crab well, first you remove the tail, uh, but th this crab, you know, is uh, an Atlantic crab. Now the thing to do with the, with the claws here, obviously, is to pull them all off. And uh, I'm not going to go into the, the preparation of a crab that much, because what we're doing, as I say, applying the dead man's fingers, the thing to do is to pull the claws off the crab. You can then get the meat from inside the claws by crushing with a pestle, a mortar, a hammer, in a piece of paper, you can get the meat out and you pick it out and uh, there are two or three different types of meat the claw, claw, claw crab meat uh, which you can get out that way there is the brown meat and there is the white meat and we will see where that comes from inside the head as we take the crab to pieces um, but the important thing here is to identify what a lot of people are frightened of about preparing a crab. Now if you have just eaten the dead man's fingers you'll probably be dead by the end of the video. Only joking. Actually the dead man's fingers are not that poisonous. Um, but what you can do is push the bottom of the crab out of the shell and the, the, what is known as the head, which is where the majority of the meat is, is in the head. It is in the larger part of the shell, which is the head. About the dead man's fingers, they are these pieces of gill, and that is all they are, is the gill of the crab, and they are along the side of the crab body. This is the body, this is the head. That's the terminology used anyway, even though you might think that was the body. See on this side, quite ev evident, they have uh, fluffy bits along the side. They look like whiskers or hairs or fur or feathers. That, any of that description will do well. This here is a, the perfect example of what they look like if they are wet and have no fluffiness. It is important because these have to be removed. Now you should not worry about traces of these being left behind you can put these in the in with the rest of the crab meat in, in, in with the legs and so on because you will easily ide identify them one, of, one bit has fallen off it's fallen into the head of the crab I can easily identify that you shouldn't have to worry about that so if you do eat it it won't hurt you if you have just a small amount of it like any kind of thing which is food poisoning it does depend on how much of it you eat but uh, yeah, avoid the dead man's fingers. The crab meat is inside the top of the head. The eyes were here as you can see. You can scoop that out with any kind of a, a, um, a fork or a pick. That's the brown meat. The white meat comes off the head off out of the head in a different area and I'm just looking for white meats on the side of the body as well because there, there is often that there in the crab's claws but again watch out for the dead man's fingers 
Sì. Vai, vai.